Hello and welcome. I'm Francis88, and today I'm going to be playing some Stranded Deep. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this game is, it's kind of like a. It is a survival game. Um, there's crafting, there's some potatoes, you can make houses or shacks, beds. But there's no crafting tables. It all happens on the ground. Make axes and hammers and fire pits, and you can cut coconuts up and make them drinkable. There's an inventory, you can drink the coconuts. Start off with a life raft and with, with a paddle to get around, and of course, the deep. So, a lot of this game revolves around swimming in the ocean and looking for treasure. So you see there's a couple of wrecks out there, I've already looted through them. Um, so I thought I'd just jump on and uh, give you guys a quick quick demonstration of what the game's like and what you do. Uh, I believe it's procedurally generated, so no two games will be the same. And um, yeah, I thought you might like to watch as I venture around. Um, today I'm going to go get some more sticks so I can build more of my hut, that way it'll give you a bit of a demonstration of my of the, the crafting and building the game. And uh, yeah, so we're paddling out now. I'll, um, actually, we'll take a side, side, uh, side track right here and um, we'll jump in the water and you guys can see what it, the uh, exploring is like. So you swim around and you can open chests and cases and try not to drown and get eaten by sharks. So you'll probably hear the music change as we're paddling around. It's, um, it's a very pretty game. It looks, it looks amazing. And I've got the graphics set on Ultra. And Full HD, no, no, I can by 1080p. And it quite well on my computer. Um, even, even while I'm recording. Yeah, I love it. There's weather effects, so you get rain and fog, um, which makes it very difficult to find the islands that you're supposed to be going between. I've uh, been putting my navigation skills to the test. I found a compass, and um, I've been making my own paper map on the side while I play, um, recording the, the different compass readings and degrees, of course, and uh, approximating positions of the islands I've been visiting. So that island we've just done, I've, I've set up a new base there. So you saw I've got some food and my bed, or well, one of my beds, and um, holy vegetables and that sort of jazz. And um, I've found a couple more islands that I've explored. I've uh, cut down all the trees on them and uh, harvested the coconuts and put them all in a pile so I have two islands full of, uh, with all the coconuts all stored up together for me if I need food and cut all the trees up for sticks for building materials and um, it's pretty much what I'm doing at the moment just going to one of the islands where I've packed all the trees away and uh, getting some more building materials. So, hopefully I'm going to the right, right island. It's quite easy to get lost because uh, it all looks the same, doesn't it? It's all, uh, it's all pretty much the same. Um, but it is very pretty. And the fish are amazing. The reefs look amazing. You just saw the wrecks. The wrecks are pretty cool. Um, they all, they're all randomly generated. Um, the loot and the loot chests in them are all randomly generated. Um, I've gotten some flippers so I can swim faster and some goggles so I can see better under the water. And like I said, I've got a compass. Um, I start off with a lighter, a bottle of water, um, this raft and a paddle, and a pot. And then you sort of just construct everything from there. Now you'll, you'll notice that as you uh, approach the islands, they sort of pop up out of nowhere, or they do friendly. I think that's so uh, it's not alone in the whole world at the same time. It's really clever. It works really well. You can see dark shapes in the water as well. 
paddle past. Yeah, hopefully we can see a shark. Yeah, yeah, they always seem to be around and I want to go for a swim. But, uh, yeah, so let's just chuck our paddle down and have pick up some uh, pick up some of the stuff. So you gotta got my crude axe and some duct tape that I found in a wreck. Yeah, a whole bunch of coconuts. Lots of coconuts. It's like your main staple. Um, yeah. So you'll probably notice that there's no health bar or food bar or thirst bar. But there is hunger, thirst and um, health. It's all contained in the watch. Which is a survival watch there. Yeah. It's got the temperature, the time, the, uh, the date, and the number of days survived. So yeah, I've been playing for a little while. And um, if you left click with the watch open, it gives you your health on the left, food in the center, and your thirst level on the right. So if you don't pay attention to them, as I didn't when I first started because I had no idea, um, you very quickly start to lose health, which you're not going to die. Probably not the best. So I just grab some sticks and some fronds. Now, sun's going down. Ah, uh, should be fine. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna take that with me. And let's go back. Shark out there. See that little grey shape floating around. There is a tiger shark. So if you're swimming in the water, when they come floating around, they straight at you. And you'll probably notice the musical stuff in a second. There we go. When I first heard that, I was so panicked. <laughs> it was the very first time I was playing it, and I jumped in a wreck, and then I heard that, and I just, I just panicked. <laughs> straight away, jumped straight back in my life, and paddled away as fast as I could. If you stay in one spot with the, the sharks hanging around, um, they do actually get back the raft. Just to look out. I've never gotten off into the water. And, uh, I haven't had a long enough for them to come back and get me again. So we'll have to see what happens. But, um, yeah, that would be pretty, pretty quite a bit scary. If they're, uh, they're kind of sort of floating into the wreck, going to a couple of dives coming from, there's a little shark up to the right, and, uh, just sitting there, having a breather, and then bam, back in the water. Now, um, you can save the game in this, but I haven't tried out whether uh, if you die, you can load the save game for, that you saved previously. Um, I, I wonder if you can't, that it is in um, But I'm not sure whether the save game is deleted or not, because the, the only time that I've really set the game so far was because I got stuck. You know, <laughs> I'm on the ship, I jump down and you know, get out again. Just kind of retarded. <laughs> Another half. I should have realized there was like a person's arm like, sticking up out of the hatch. I thought it would be fine. Jump down the hatch, collect the goodies and the loot. Can't get back out again. Dead. So, yeah. I'm going to start. That would be interesting. <laughs> But yeah, so I reset, and um, this is my second playthrough. Slowly learning how to do things. Um, I haven't looked up anything in the recipes yet. I've just sort of made piles of everything I can find. And then um, I'll go and right click on it to see what kind of building options it gives me. And um, <coughs> yeah, I've just sort of been concentrating on exploring a couple of islands and building my little little shack. It's um eight eight bits of wood per um per floor foundation square. 
and uh, one per s support. There's a couple for the roof and uh, a couple for the walls. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. A bit of a cr creak in my voice. So, it's very interesting um, crafting in this game. You sort of just chuck everything into a big pile. And um, you just craft with it in a big pile of stuff. So, if you hold down left mouse just here, you see I have a crude axe, a hammer, campfire, and a bed as options. Um, I always do that. I hit escape instead of just click off the screen. Um, so, hmm, no foundations or roof or anything. What you need to have is a hammer. So, if you have a hammer in your hand, and you'll see now that we can make supports, walls, foundations, roof, and steps. So, I think I wanted to make three more foundations. So, get that. And yeah, so that's um, the building. It's pretty cool. I think it's a very, very uh, interesting and novel way to... Uh, to to do it. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's really 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 unique in the way that um that the mechanic works. Okay. So um, <laughs> obviously I didn't plan out my floor plan very well because uh I can't square that off. There must be something in the way or a height difference or maybe because it's the walls are there. I'm not not quite sure. But um might just be I still have enough. I don't. That's alright. I'll build, build some roofs. I'm not sure what the roofs do. Maybe um, in later patches, the roofs will actually stop you from getting weather exposure or something of that sort. Um, at the moment, they, they keep the rain off, but I don't know um, what that actually does for your character. It doesn't seem to have any negative impact at the moment, the weather, but yeah, so far it's freaking amazing. Um, so as you can see I've found axes and hammers, an extra paddle, made some made some crude stuff and found some machetes and stock, found some engine parts, i got a fuel tank and an engine piece and jerry can and duct tape and torches, yeah, I don't think the torches work. I think I need to find batteries for them. Um, we've got some binoculars, some vitamins, water bottles. You can kill the crabs. I haven't cooked them yet, so you can't eat these ones. That reminds me, better check how much food and stuff I got. Probably need to get some food. Um, and lots of potatoes. So, where you get potatoes in that? And findings is get bindings from yukas, so that's the um, the ropes that you use to make things. And you just find rocks on the ground and you get potatoes from these little potato plants that seem to be on all the islands that are prolific to the area. Which is really handy because they're, uh, they're good eats. Now I'll just drink some coconut. Um, can sleep through the night, which I think is really good because it's pretty dark, especially um, when it's raining. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I'll probably leave it there because you know I showed the bit of a bit of a raft going for a cruise to get some some materials. Um, Built a couple of things on my house so you guys can see what that's like. And show the crafting. And um, I'll do a quick demonstration of how to actually harvest plants. Oh, I should go. Yeah, I'll show you how to harvest some plants. So, this game inv revolves around uh, sort of just whacking. Oh, that's a hammer. We don't want a hammer. We want a. I can use my knife. It revolves around. A lot of left clicking on uh, 
orange highlighted bushes and trees. So you see, you just left click in it, and it drops, drops the things that you need. And then you push E when you're hovering over it to pick it up. And uh, yeah, so that's how you harvest things. And obviously, with a bigger tree, um, it takes quite a bit longer for the tree to be cut down than it does just to cut down a potato plant to get some potatoes. But when you cut down trees, they um, they behave quite realistically. They, they fall, um, the coconuts come off, and they don't just shatter into sticks. Um, they're a solid tree. And then you cut the tops off of them, and you get the palm fronds, and then you um, hack them up into manageable log sizes, and you can drag drag the tree around as it is, or move the logs one at a time. And then um, you cut the tree up into smaller manageable bits. The sky is lovely as we're transitioning from uh, night into day. The sun's about to come up. And cue dawn. Yay! And the lighting in this is really, really nice. I love the way it works. Um, you obviously don't want to go diving in the middle of the dark wreck at night because you're not going to be able to see anything. But during the day, you've got the light filtering through. It looks, looks amazing. Um, I'm not sure whether all the rocks and other trees on the island are going to be become uh, destructible or not. Because um, at the moment you can only cut down palms and you only find rocks on the ground. You can't really get your own rocks when all the ones that just spawn are gone. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's probably probably about all that you really want to see at the moment. Um, maybe if I do a bit more exploring and find a couple of wrecks, I might record a little bit more and see if I can get eaten by a shark while I'm uh, diving in the wrecks looking for loot. Um, I hopefully won't suffocate because I've got these air tanks, and hopefully I won't get lost. So I've got a compass, and uh, maybe I'll build a raft. Yeah, once I've finished my house a little bit more, I'll I think I'll build a raft so I can hopefully store some more stuff when I go on my exploring adventures. All right, um, I'm Francis88, and I've been playing Stranded Deep. It's a early access game on Steam. It is freaking amazing. I love it. Um, it's really, really early beta. Um, but it is playable, completely playable. You can swim, you can gather, you can hunt the fish, you can loot all the, the wrecks, you can get into the sharks. It's got good music and good sound effects. Crafting's amazing. And there's a whole heap of items and a whole heap of craftable, craftable items in the game already. So I, I can't wait to see how they um, how they move forward and how they keep updating it and hopefully they do and uh, hopefully one day it'll be a full full finished game but at the moment it, it, it it's playing like I'm, I feel like I'm playing a, f a full finished game I just know that there's more to come so I'm uh, pretty eager to see that so uh, once again uh, thanks for watching I'm Francis 88 and uh, I'll see you next time bye